Hello, everybody. We are live. Live and on the interwebs. Let me pull up my video here so that I can see your chat comments and stuff. There we go. St. Patty's Day edition. How's everybody doing here on the good St. Patty's Day? We've only got a couple on right now. It's taking a minute to get going here. We are live, right? Yeah, here we go. Now some people are showing up. Yeah, it gives you guys the little notification that I'm live even when when I first set it up. I usually set it up about half an hour before and then uh, then change it. Let me adjust my camera here so it's a little straighter for those of you who are anal retentive and don't want to see crooked lines on your screen. That's weird. It made it worse. It looks better on mine, but it looks worse on yours. Let's try that. There we, there we go. That's good. That's good. Everybody seems to start doing live shows on Sunday nights now. I used to have it all to myself, and now it feels like everybody's doing it. So thank you guys for coming out, those of you that are here. It is St. Patrick's Day, so I don't know if you guys are doing some stuff. Uh, I did make my, uh, my corned beef and cabbage today, as I should, because I am half Irish, half Scottish, right down the middle. That's a genetically engineered alcoholic if you want to know how to make one in a lab. That's how you do it. But uh, I'm 50% Irish, so I'm required to make uh, corned beef and cabbage on St. Patrick's Day, or they will send me back to Ireland. So I've uh, never even been to Ireland, but I'm sure they'd find out a reason to send me to Ireland if I didn't do what my, what my blood demands that I should do. Hey, everybody. Sean. Hey, Edward. BP69. Hello. Matt, I don't know why you're getting notifications. Just a few of you, when I set up the camera, you guys get notifications that I'm going live. But I go live at exactly 8 p.m. Eastern time, as I always say that I'm going to. But as soon as I set the camera up, you guys get the thing, and it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I don't eat the cabbage, Best Tech fanboy. I don't eat the cabbage. That's my, my deep, dark secret. <laughs> I don't eat the cabbage. I don't like cabbage either. I eat the potatoes and the, uh, the corned beef. I'll be eating that for days. Uh, my uh, daughter and my, and my wife are both vegetarians, so my son and I just say, hey, that's more corned beef for us. So I'm already, at this particular moment, more corned beef than man. But, um, yeah, my wife and my daughter love the cabbage, though. I make it, like, in separate pots so they get their vegetarian side and Parker and I get ours, and it uh, works out good for everybody. Gun and Guns. Hello, Dicers. Yes, hello, Slicey Dicers, if I did not say that. And, of course, today's beer. Got 26 on. Let's get this Let's get this show on the road. What other beer could it possibly be? It's St. Patrick's Day. Guinness. Of course it's Guinness. What else would I possibly drink on St. Patrick's Day as an Irishman? Uh, what spices do I use in my corned beef? Um... I use, uh, the, the kind I get comes with a little, like, peppercorn pack. I throw that in there. But I also, it's, it's just, like, salt and pepper and stuff. And uh, I cook it with onions and garlic. And you don't really need to do a whole lot. You really don't. Corned beef, just, you boil it long enough, and it's it comes out good. My little trick is, though, I do stick it in the, um, in the oven afterwards. I take it out, and I put it in the oven for, like, at 350 for, like, you know, like 15 minutes. Just to make sure that layer of fat on the top gets a little gets a little crispy. I'm going to pretend you didn't say Killian's, Keith. That's owned by Anheuser-Busch. It's not even Irish. Um, uh, do I drink uh, warm or cold? My Guinness? Uh, this one I took out of the fridge at 7 o'clock. So it was, I, I bought it. It was fridge temperature when I bought it. I put it in the fridge. But I let it sit for half an hour, 45 minutes. I, I don't like it room temperature, but I, I don't like it cold either. There we go. Ah. Yep, I admit, I do not drink as much Guinness as I used to, but uh, it's still good on St. Patrick's Day. Um, yeah, yeah, Killian's is fake. Uh, Killian's Irish Red. I, I like it, though. It's, it is fairly tasty. It's not bad. If I'm at a bar and they have it and they don't have anything else good, I will drink it. It's not bad, but it isn't really Irish. Uh, hello, J. Cole. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Yeah, I don't have a... I didn't measure it with a thermometer. I'm not that... Not that crazy. I just know, like, take it out of the... Take it out of the fridge and let it sit for half an hour or so and it's usually pretty good norman says he just ordered a manix 2 today awesome very very cool 
Um, what do we want to do here tonight? I don't, I don't have a whole lot of plans for tonight. I mostly wanted to announce our giveaway winner from two weeks ago. I said that uh, I had about a $200, $250 budget and you guys could pick my next review knife because that's what my next payment from uh, from uh, the YouTubes is, from Google. My massive amount of ad revenue I get every month, which isn't that much at all. Uh, so I let you guys pick my next review knife and I said I was just going to make suggestions. I was going to take... take uh, the suggestions you guys, I was going to pick my favorite one from those, and from those people, I was going to choose one. Um, I did just choose it at random from the people. Several of you suggested this knife, and the winner of it is he is going to win our usual Weeha toolkit and this Hogue Knives little work mat. These things are awesome. Hogue sent me a bunch of these. You'll see these coming up in uh, various giveaways coming up. They're pretty awesome. But the nice thing about the rubber stuff is if you drop a screw, it doesn't go flying they kind of stay where they're at and they've got all these nice little grooves to hold them so the winner of that is it's not it's not you Keith I picked the Viper Bologna 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 I think it's I think it's probably Bologna but I don't want to say that so I'm going to go against my own stuff and say Bologna um, the winner is Raphael Rieg Rieg I hope I'm saying that correctly. I will put that in the comments down below. So hopefully you guys um, will, uh, hopefully he'll be on. He's usually on here. He comes on here a whole lot. I'm sure he'll see it. So he's got a week to, to claim that. So Raphael Rieg, R-A-I-G. And the Viper Bologna is the knife that, that won it. So congratulations to you, sir. Uh, a lot of you guys knew the common thread was you guys like you said like Brian you like Vox Knife stuff you always say it. you should you should just get that and you know what you're right it's a good excuse to get one I cannot decide on the color though they come in so many different versions I'm leaning towards the carbon fiber and bronze so if you guys want to go look at like where's some place that has a bunch of them in stock this won't be where I'm getting it from because I have a wholesaler but let me see I have my little keyboard here. I'm going to post a link here in the chat if it allows me. And you guys can, we can talk about what color one I should get. I'm just going to put the uh, Blade HQ link up. Because it will have a bunch of them on there. I don't think they have a green. Yeah, so I just put the link up there. Go check that out. Which color do you think I should get? I'm not certain myself. I'm, it's either one of the plain titanium ones. I... Or the bronze carbon is really kind of grown on me. I do really like that. It's out. I will say the thing that held me back is I've had a couple vipers before, and um, I wasn't. I, I've not been happy with the uh, the quality of them, but I've heard that these blunts are pretty darn good. So we will see. Car uh, bronze and carbon is not is not Brian Speck at all. That's actually pretty classy. Yeah, I think I'm going with the bronze carbon. My, uh, the wholesaler I get stuff through currently has all of them in stock, which is pretty rare for them, so I'm pretty happy about that. But uh, I do like the, just the, all the stonewash one too, though, but yeah. I don't want, I know I don't want the carbon and tie, just plain tie. That's a bit too plain. I, I'm thinking, yeah, bronze carbon. You guys, have, all right, done and done. Done and done. Bronze carbon. That's the one I'm going to get. You guys have helped me decide. Oh, Guinness. It's one of those things I don't drink very often, but every time I drink one, I really like it. It's like Doritos. I don't like Doritos, and then, like, I think I don't like them, and then I eat one, and then I eat a whole bag. I feel like that way with, I'm that way with uh, Guinness. It's just taste of my youth. Yeah, my, my, uh, my mother was, uh, third generation off the boat my grandfather was second generation off the boat lived right next door and i don't remember not tasting guinness i'm sure like they gave it to me like when i have a toothache or something like that when i was a little kid it's it's medicine when you're irish it's medicine the pair three lightweight will take years to ship i heard it's supposed to come out in two weeks i don't know 
Yeah, the Rangers suck this year. You are right. I have a Rangers koozie here. Somebody point that out. They do suck this year. It's a rebuilding year. Whatever. It happens. Uh, it's it's not going to be. Yeah, I think next year ain't going to be any better either. Uh, you're Lithuanian. Why are you angry about it? So many exclamation points. Um, I had one in hand at GP. It wasn't very personal. Yeah, a little lock stick. Yeah, we'll see when I get it. Um, most Irish thing is Guinness and potatoes. I can do the Irish accent really well, and I considered just doing this whole show in my Irish accent, but uh, I don't. I, I I like you guys better than that, so I'm not going to do it. Browns aren't going to be bad. The Jets signed Le'Veon Bell. I'm interested to see how that goes. Thank you very much, Zach Stuff. I really appreciate it. And thank you again for reminding me that the uh, Super Chat is open if you guys want to kick in. That helps me buy, uh, buy review knives. That's part of the reason why I did that thing last, last week where, or a couple weeks ago where you could choose your own review knife because, uh, you know, that's how I get the money to do that. Um, yeah, usually Lockstick goes away. Best Tech Fanboy, yeah, it usually, it usually does, not always, it usually does. I don't bring it up in reviews unless it's really horrible, because I assume it's going to go away. If it's light lock stick, it usually goes away, but um, when it gets, when it's, you, you can tell that ain't going to go away. You know, you can kind of, you just get that feel after a while, you're like, that's not one that's going to go away. Uh, like the, uh, what was the one I did a while ago, I bashed about the lock stick. Oh, I don't even remember. The Monterey Bay, the uh, Monterey Bay one, the, not the Easy C, that thing's awesome, uh, but the other one, uh, that one was, it stuck and I, I knew it was never going to go away. Um, Eagles fan. I, I was, when I was a, a, a young child and before I really had a football team of my own, I did have an Eagles jacket because I liked Randall Cunningham because I didn't know anything else about sports other than that Randall Cunningham was awesome on tech, on Super Tech Mobile. So I liked I liked the Eagles. Just I'd ask my parents to buy me an Eagles jacket, just because of Randall Cunningham. But once uh, once I had to, um, once I really started paying more attention to sports, I I became a Jets fan because I live really near Buffalo and I got tired of hearing about the Bills, so I chose the Jets, um, just to spite everyone else. Uh, you call it rubbing one out. Now, a lot of people call lots of things that. Uh, we have set. Which one do you have? As far as torch screws, almost all of them. I really, I have a lot of Weha stuff. I really do. Um, I even have the Weha bottle opener. My favorite one is actually not accessible right now. Darn it! It's just a set of quarter inch. Um drivers in a slidey thing but i don't have it right now because i actually just used it to tear apart our dyson vacuum cleaner and i left it downstairs <laughs> but that's my favorite one um i don't know what the bill stands for I, I i don't care i'm so tired of hearing about the bills all the time uh i like the movie about the trash guy becoming i don't know that yeah, they did lose four in a row, and I was very happy about that. The wide right moment was one of the best days of my life, I have to say. I was actually sitting with all my uncles, all my drunk uncles at my parents' house, and uh, they were all rooting for the Bills. And when that happened, I laughed like a little girl. I don't think any of them have forgiven me for it. Nice, we got 55 on now. That's pretty good. Back up to about our average. Um, my, uh, my EDC today... What was everybody carrying? Mine was the uh, the Kershaw bare knuckle. That's what I carried all day. I did do a little picture on Instagram with the 8015 because it's green, but it's because it's the only green knife that I have. And I have been carrying the 8015 a lot, but I didn't today. I actually carried this today. So, oh my God, this thing has gotten so smooth. Look at that. Oh. It's so nice. Rat 1 and D2 in green. Nice. R2, Benchmade Torpedo, and Kershaw Atmos. Atmos is still really good. So the stream's not working. It looks like it's still going. I have it up here. I'm looking at it. It looks like it's still fine. Again, I'm getting comments. Um, probably a prime day for Brews and Blades. I think every, all the amateurs get drunk yesterday when the parades are. Um, somebody said, what is the, the freak? 
it's this. Well, this is the Super Freak, but they make a cheaper version of this too. It's a Benchmade knife. Valhalla. You know, I had a Valhalla and I sold it, and man, I miss it. It was crazy and stupid, but oh, I really do miss it. 530 is nice. Max Ace Lanius. I don't know what that one is. Man, Max Ace is killing it. They just came out with a new one too that um, White Mountain Knives, which by the way, 10% off, use my discount code. Uh, they just got a new one in that looks amazing. I'm actually going to post it here in the uh, in the comments. Oh, I have it up. <laughs> I even have it up because I want it so bad. Um, it comes in other colors than this, but I'm just going to post the one that uh, that I have. Yeah, guys, check this one out. This Max Ace Balance. Oh, did I buy a Spidey Chef? No, I didn't. I'm, I have to focus on buying stuff to review, and the Spidey Chef I did a video on, and it just doesn't make financial sense at the moment. If I ever get, if I ever have a windfall where I can afford one, I'll get one, but um, no. Protec, I have one here, sort of. I just got it back. I loaned it to somebody who was thinking about buying one, and he loans me knives all the time, so I, I loaned it to him to try it out. But it's not available yet, but this is the Protex, or Protec, sorry, Mass Drop, Ferrum Forge, made by Protex, Protec, Mordax. Why can't I say Protex tonight? It's weird. Yeah, this thing is awesome. And uh, I don't know if he decided to buy one or not. He didn't really say. Where's y'all green knives? I only have one right now. I'm not a fan of green. Thanks for the donation, though, Sean. I appreciate that. My 8015 is the only green, the only green knife that I have right now. But I guess I should probably leave it on camera the whole time, right? Because it's St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I do hope they make a mini super freak. Because the reason why um, is the I don't is my regular griptilian out here. Oh, I thought it was. It isn't. Um, the freak handle is, oh, here it is. The, so you look at the handles here, right? And the freak is just a bit longer than the griptilian. Um, the small griptilian doesn't fit my hand. It just misses it where the freak is bigger. I have not held a mini freak. I've only ever had just, this is the only freak I've had is the super freak. I played with the, another big one, but I didn't own it. Um, so I know that the mini freak will fit me better. So yeah, if they come out with the mini freak of this, if they come out with the mini freak of this, I might even just get rid of this and just keep the mini one. That might be a thing that might happen. Ooh, good. If they happened. Almost scratched something there. Uh, yeah, the Mordax is, is pretty great. This is definitely a prototype. Uh, there are a couple little things from it, you know, like the, the two colors don't quite match, you know, but it's a, it's a prototype, but I do really like it. And it will be mine forever and ever and ever. So, uh, and my boost smoke's been carried a lot this week. The uh, Northrum Skaha hardly ever leaves my pocket. Just in case someone asks what's in your pocket, I always think this is kind of one of the coolest ones that I own to show. Um, what do you think of the Surge Bean Flipper? Uh, which one is the bean? F I didn't see the bean flipper. I have the, the little one. I have the Black Fox Bean, Black Fox Bean Gen 2. You guys are amazing. You always ask about stuff that's right around within reach. But yeah, I, I do love the little bean too from Black Fox. I don't know the bean flipper. I'm not sure. The Skaha is very much on bearings. It's on super, super smooth bearings. Yeah. It is excellently on bearings. Yeah, that balance does look cool, doesn't it? The Max Ace balance. I'm, I'm kind of for 125 bucks and M390. Wow. I, I'd be down for that. Let's put some stuff away and give some splashes of color here because splashes of color. Isn't that the most overused knife YouTuber? Yeah, the Keen is probably my favorite. I probably like it slightly better than this, but this is it just is so fun to play with. I can't, I can't get past it. I am thinking about asking them if they'll take my prototype back and let me trade it for a real, uh, a real production one. Um, but we'll see. There's nothing wrong with that one, but I just kind of want one of the normal production ones because I want to really use it and beat on it, and I, I feel kind of weird beating on that one. Uh, with the, the Wii uh, Deacon, this review is coming up soon. Speaking of smooth, blood is crazy. Look at that. 
can't believe how well that drops for such a small. Oh, Raphael, are you on here? Yeah, you won something. So email me your address if he's on here. Uh, the beverage tonight, it's St. Patrick's Day. What else could it be? Guinness, of course. I'm an Irishman. I'm required by law to drink Guinness on this day. Yeah, this is not the color I would have chose. This is not mine. This is uh, in the pass around group. Um, but uh, yeah, I would not. I would not pick the purple. It looks cool, but the hardware is blue. So yeah, it doesn't. I don't like the way that looks. But uh, I would just get the gray or black or something. Um, yeah, we make some good stuff. Yeah, Raphael, you won. So send me an email, slicedaces75 at gmail.com, and you won a Hogue little work mat and uh, the Weha Toolkit stuff. I chose the knife that you selected, the Viper Balloon. Uh, pur I love purple. You guys can see the, my logo is purple. I love purple. I don't think, and, and I would, if this had purple hardware or black hardware, that might be the color I would choose, but I don't like the purple and the blue together. My wedding colors were purple, and um, I'm the one who suggested that. I like purple. It is my favorite color. And when I used to race bikes and stuff and I was allowed to pick my own colors, it was always purple. Um, what else did I want to talk about tonight? I didn't have much new come in this week. Uh, I did have a couple other pass around things come in. What was the other? So this one I already recorded because they're going out tomorrow. And then, oh, also I had uh, this one I think I had just gotten in like that day of the last, the last one, the, the uh, Best Tech Ornetta. I've also recorded that. So these two are going back off to the pass around group on the morrow, as they would say in old timey days. Um, both beautiful, beautiful, beautiful knives and both very positive reviews. I've, I did not have any issues with them at all. And then I feel like there was another one from the pass around. But I don't think so. I think those are the only two maybe I had. Oh, I know why I'm thinking that because it's already, I already sent it back. I had that, uh, it wasn't the pass around, but it was like a friend sent me the, uh, the HEA design hunter, but it's already back on the way. And that's why, uh, yeah, I don't have my, um, Kapara out because I also loaned that to somebody. The Best Tech Bison is coming soon, peeps. Do I know what... I feel like I know what that is, but I'm not sure. Let me look. Let me look and see. I feel like I do know what that one is. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, that is a cool-looking one. I do really like that. It looks nice. It looks nice. And it's D2, so it's not going to be too terribly expensive. I'm guessing... I'm going to take a wild shot, like 80 bucks or something like for that. 80 or 90. I do really love this black wash they do. It's really freaking nice. I do have to say, as a guy who's not usually a fan of coated blades, this looks great. It doesn't look like it's going to get beat up. It's just, it looks amazing. And this, oh, I, this Ornetta, if I bought an Ornetta, I would order it exactly like this exactly like this it's so nice um after your beg tanto review you order one immediately good choice it's a great i still have it I, well, of course i still have it and this isn't going anywhere it's a really freaking nice I actually the guy said i could trade him anything for it and i like it so much i actually ordered something specifically uh to trade him for it because I want to make sure he gets a fair shake. I thought about jokingly sending him 10 Z hunters. Um, cause he said, just send me whatever you think is fair for it. That's roughly equivalent to that price. And Oh, I thought I was going to wait for the drop, send this back to him and wait for the drop point. But man, that's just so pretty. I'm fine with this. I'm not usually a Tanto guy, but Oh man, I love it. It's just a gorgeous knife. I meant what I said. It is legitimately one of the prettiest production knives I've handled in probably a year. And the action is great. Like I said in the video, I did play with a detent, but the guy who sent it to me said he played with a detent. So I don't, when I got it, it was a bit stiff. I don't know if that was him or that was a factory or what. So I backed it off a bit. And 
It went great. I uh, want to buy a sub $50 knife as a birthday present myself. I'd love to hear suggestions from the group. Um, you know, I the best sub 50 something Civivi. Um, I don't have any of those out, but I can. Or uh, Ontario Rat, whether you want the big one or the small one. That's usually my go-to suggestions now for the sub $50, sub $50 price bracket. Or the Best Tech Paladin, another very, very good one. Best Tech Paladin is great. I did let mine go, but just because I don't, I, it, you know, I got, I don't have any comparison tests coming up for it or anything like that. I've kind of done it to death. So uh, when I have nothing left to record with something, I, I often do just let it go, even if I like it. I have a lot of knives around all the time, and other ones coming and going. So sub fifty. Let me open my. Uh, I'm going to move my keyboard aside here. I'm going to be hitting keys. Kershaw Natrix. Not bad. I, I do like the uh, the carbon Natrix. What are some of my... Sub-50s. I'm grabbing stuff for you guys, so uh, that's why I'm off camera. Um... These three out here, and then well, you gotta have both rats, I guess. Guess if you have one, right? And Rake P801, definitely another good choice. Where is my Rake P801? That's a very you mentioned that, and I just realized it's not in the case that it's supposed to be in. Here's just a few. This isn't quite sub 50, but it's close if you get the uh, G10 liner lock, the steel wheel piercer. This one's a lot more, but a uh, great freaking knife. Very big fan of that. Another sub 50. That I always have loved is uh, definitely the Tangram Santa Fe. This is by far my favorite Tangram model, by the way. I've, I've held all of them and reviewed most of them. The Santa Fe is definitely my favorite. Definitely my favorite. Yeah, we're a regular bag lighter. You're right. With the discount, that would be sub-50. And then, you know, the Civivi, I think if you're going to go with the sub-$50 Civivis, I think the Backlash is the best one. It's a very reasonable size. It's a very good EDC size. Um, it's very good. Hey, Keith. Long day tomorrow. Go deliver packages. We all, Go deliver knives to people. Thanks for hanging out, Keith. I appreciate it. And yes, Super Chat is open if you want to kick in a few shekels. We always appreciate that. Helps me buy NAFs to review for you guys. And then, you know, one of the old standbys. It's still just... You know your Ontario's whether you want the Rat Model One or Rat Model Two, you can you can buy one of these for less than fifty and a value meal. You know they're not they're not expensive at all. I just realized this has some schmutz on the blade. Did I actually get corrosion on D two? Did I? Yeah, no, it's tape. It's tape crap. I always tell people that you don't have to worry D2 doesn't corrode as much as you think that it does. And then I thought I actually had corrosion on this one. I just opened it. I don't. It's tape. Tape schmutz. Also, I do sub-50. Um, I honestly rarely uh, recommend Sierra KTs in that sub-50 because a lot of them are pretty subpar materials. But the the P-Large is, is pretty freaking nice. It's not bad at all. Or yeah, buy used, but you know, buying your first real nice knife used, I don't think I'd recommend that. It, yeah, you can save money, but it's also easy to get something that needs some work and you don't know how to do it. You know, you know what I mean? How much was the lanner? I don't remember how much the uh, steel wheel lanner cost. Is that? I know it's not sub fifty, but this is a great one too, and somewhere around that. Oh yeah, fifty to one hundred. The code four is. 
pretty pretty hard to beat. Got one of these one of them somewhere here because I just used it in a video. I have piles of stuff around my desk right now. It's been a very busy weekend. I did not have time to organize before we started here tonight. So yeah, I do have a code for. A code for my code for. Thanks, Freedom Van. Kicking on some shekels. Really appreciate that. Uh, Kaiser Duke's also a nice one. A little small for some people, though. If that's if you don't live in a state where you have to worry about the three inch limit. Um, yeah, Code Force. And you know what? The Code Four, honestly, uh, people talk about saving up for it. Um, if you look on Amazon, you don't have to save up necessarily. Sometimes you will find Code Force for like sixty bucks. Like I, I've seen it before, and I get mad that I paid. 70 for mine or whatever and thought I got a good deal. But if you if you keep your eye out, listen to that thing snap. Bang. It sounds so good. Yeah, the Code 4 is a great knife. Let's just leave that out here. Pretty hard to recommend anyone against the Code 4. And my knife case is completely disorganized right now. Because I'm just putting stuff back and it's not in the proper order. And I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight because I'm going to be thinking about my knives being out of order. Civivi out here. Yeah, what's that one called? This Tatera. I can never remember the name on that one. I don't know what it is. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of cold steels just have I a, a lot they just have great sounds. I did have a snaggle tooth on my Code Four, and I I took it off. It's it's cool. The the product itself is fantastic. Um, uh, if you want that wave opening feature, it works great. I, I have no issues with the product, but I just, just found after a while, I didn't really want the wave opening thing. Um, I'd have to think when I took it out of my pocket to not make it, you know, I, I didn't want it to deploy. So I'd have to think for a second. So I wound up taking it off. I had one on this and my American law, man. And, um, I took it off of both of them. Um, code 4 is one of the best values. It is. It really is. An S35 VN steel for what or are they like 80 bucks. Nice aluminum handle, slim, light, super easy to carry. Tough as the day is long. If you don't know how to maintain knives, it's going to be relatively okay. S35 VN is super easy just to touch up with the world's simplest sharpening systems. You don't have bearings. Get if you don't if you're worried about taking one apart, Get a can of compressed air and some decent knife lube, and it's fine. Um, the Statera. Oh, yeah, the Statera does have a good sound, too. Actually, somebody tagged me in one of those videos about, I need to do it, about my knives with a favorite sound. Yeah, that is pretty good sound. I'm not going to spoil it. I know, my, I know I have, like, three, but I want to come up with at least five. Actually, one of my favorites, I just put it away. It's budget for that Ontario Rat 2, or the Rat 1, I'm sorry. The Rat 1 is just like, bang! It makes a really loud noise for being such a small, uh, or such a cheap knife, I guess. Such an inexpensive knife. It makes an amazing noise. It's not small at all. It's actually a pretty good sized knife for a folder. Good night, Zach. Talk to you later, man. We have some stuff we got to talk about this week. My giveaway and stuff's coming up. I'm at 71. Did I hit 7,100 yet today? Probably not. I have not checked. I'm not as obsessive about it as I used to be. Oh, what am I at? 7,090. So I'm, I'm getting there. 7,500 I'm doing a giveaway. It's not going to be as big as the one was for... Uh, what was the last one I did? 5,000? I'm trying to do them every 2,500. So... I'm going to do what's going to so be quite as big as 5,000, and then the 10,000 one will be overly, ridiculously huge. Yes, the Fortis 2.0 does make an amazing sound. I remember going on about that uh, for entirely too long. Have you seen the new Fox Tur with N690 and G10? I don't know. I've not. I've not seen that. I will check that out. Yeah, the rats just have such a good D10 on them. It's amazing. 
Yeah, I don't care for the looks of the wyvern at all. I will admit that I have not. Somebody says Tatera is over 50. It looks sweet, too, though. Still got to say wyvern. I, I, The wyvern, those dragon scales, just... Ugh, I have no interest in that. If someone loans me one, I'll check it out. Maybe they'll win my heart over, but the dragon scale thing, I just... No. It's too mall ninja for me. Chaparral versus mini griptilian. I'm probably the wrong person to ask because the... Uh, Mini Griptilian does not fit my hands well at all. I know a lot of people it does, so I think it's just me. But I'm not a fan of the Mini Griptilian. So I would say Chaparral all day long. But I may not be the right person to ask for that. Best D10 on Thumbstud Knife has to be the Giant Mouse Ace Iona. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, Not a Game of Thrones Knife fan. I'm a Game of Thrones fan. I can't wait for it to come back. But I'm not a... Um, not a big, uh, not a big fan of dragon scales on my knives. No. Uh, this has pretty much the same grind as what the wyvern has, though. So, still kind of going with this. I was appalled that you said the tenacious was outdone by the bird. Oh, it is. The bird raven two is a better knife than the spider co, um, raven two. It definitely is. At this point, I don't even think. It's a, like, it's just a fact. <laughs> I'm going to be a real arrogant prick about this. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just a better knife, better steel, better, uh, better action. Feels better. It feels like better quality. It's cheaper. Yeah. It's a Raven 2 all day long. Um, and, uh, so he says, uh, the wyvern is thinner. Okay, I haven't seen one yet, so whenever I, whenever somebody loans me one, I will, but I'm not going to buy one to review because I know I, I'm just going to hate the way it looks, and I would get it, review it, sell it. Um, Mantra or Sliver X? And haven't held either one of them, so I don't know. After the Chaparral, what's your favorite small? Why did you think the Chaparral is my favorite smaller EDC? It isn't. I like the Chaparral a lot, but it's not my favorite small. EDC, because uh, I don't have one anymore. I would say my favorite small EDC is probably the Sage 5, or the, uh, yeah, probably the Sage 5. Is the Hogue X5 worth over 200? I, they're really, really nicely made. Um, I did just sell my Hogue X5, but it's to buy another Hogue X5. That's why I sold it, because they came out with the, well, not a Hogue X5, but there's a new Hogue that has full g10 i sold it to get that um but uh yeah the hogue x the hogue x5 i think is it's definitely built plenty well enough to be worth that price chaparral lightweight on saturday it's nice but the action sucks yeah you don't buy it don't buy any um uh of the frn spider coats expecting amazing amazing action that's not what they're built for. That's why they're starting to do the compression lock ones. Did you see they're doing a Sage 5 lightweight that it leaked out on somebody's video? It's like nobody else. It's a very small channel that nobody watches. And they were interviewing uh, Eric Glesser, and he just whipped out. So what are you carrying today? And it was a Sage 5 lightweight. I, I couldn't, and it's amazing. It looks just like same kind of deal as the uh, Para 3 lightweight, but it's another compression lock with the FRN, but made in Taiwan. So it's got that same pattern like the, uh, um, like the Chaparral does. Oh my. I don't remember who did it. There's, there's a video out there somewhere. It's somebody's coverage from that IWA show that was last week. Um, I mean, where do I want the Para 3... Lightweight pair of three o'clock. No, I don't. Uh, I heard a couple weeks. That's the last I heard. So, um, oh, the uh, flipper auto. So we're talking about the X five. I had the uh, flipper. I don't. Um, uh, I can't carry autos in New York, so I don't. If anybody finds that link to that video, yeah, please post it because that was that was exciting, and that's something we should harass Spider. That too sweet. I want that like yesterday. 
What do you think of the Kershaw Launch 10 with that little hawk, though? I don't look at automatics because I'm not allowed to carry them, so I know almost nothing about automatics, except for I know I really like Microtechs. They are very, very fun to play with. That's kind of the uh, extent. What's the Kershaw you have out? The, uh, the Bare Knuckle. That is the one. It's, it's similar to the Knockout in that it has the thing, but uh, it's got the Knockout, but it's not assisted or anything, and it's a totally different blade shape, but... And it's super, super smooth. This thing has gotten so ridiculously smooth, man. I know I already said it, but... Have I reviewed the Spyderco Southern? Uh, I, I did not because I, when I started the channel, it already wasn't new. And then um, somebody let me uh, handle theirs and I didn't really care for it. So I haven't, like, it's not one that I've sought out. Something about the action. I don't remember what it was. I just didn't. It just didn't blow my socks off. So I kind of don't review stuff that's been in production for a long time unless it's something that I just really want. The real question is, Lacey, why do you have to drain our bank accounts? <laughs> because I, I make no apologies. I don't care. I sleep like a baby at night. No, it's just, it's my job. It's what I've done for years, reviewing products, training people's bank accounts. I'm honest, though. If something sucks, I tell you it sucks. I just, I usually get stuff that I think I'm, because I'm shelling out some money, I usually can sell them and break even or, or make a couple bucks, but still I'm shelling out the money. I'm not going to go buy something to review that I really hate. But there's stuff I've gotten on the pass around group that I really hated. Um... I'm not here just to drain your bank account, but I don't feel bad that I do. Yeah, I, th I think I'm on that one for the Mass Drop Super Gold Delica. I think I'm on it. You caused me to buy a Smooth Criminal. It was a disaster. Oh, was it? I don't have one. I just really want one. Was it not good? I will say that uh given that um given that uh recent Michael Jackson documentary on um Netflix uh that name has not aged well the smooth criminal I probably wouldn't call that any, call it that anymore I can't scroll up man it's a whole lot of stuff if you want me to know what you're talking about you're going to have to tell me again cuz there's too many stuff going through I would stop flipping and you send it away. Well, I'm sure they'll fix it. They got good customer service. But yeah, that's annoying. Anytime you got to send stuff back. But I'm sure they'll fix it. Slim Midi is nice. I, I like the... Uh, what was the one that uh, Birdshot had the other day? The uh, Dress Marauder. I actually really like the look of that one. So you're not in the Taekwondo? Um, I don't know. I like... I do like this. I like the uh, Beg Lighter enough that maybe I might give it a shot now. But, um, Spider Co. Shaman, buddy, Brian. I don't know what it, it, all the caps. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I would like to replace my shaman. Oh, the button lock wasn't. He does their first button lock. They're going to have problems. It's fine. You know, I would. You don't like crowbar is not a med for a guy. He doesn't. They don't do that just anymore. But everybody knows their big heavy duty stuff because that's what they make that no one else makes. But if you actually look through their catalog and stuff on their website, like they do make normal, completely normal knives. Um, they really do. Like the the dress marauder and uh, the smooth criminals, totally normal size knife. Uh, they make a lot of just normal stuff. Do I like the Jack Natural G10 look? I really don't. I had a uh, Manix 2 in them. I just didn't. Do you ever plan on getting a buck? Uh, no, probably not. I had a, um, well, I guess it's still technically here, but it's in a box going out tomorrow. Um, I had a Dow, and I'm getting another Dow. That's the only reason I sold my Dow is because I have another one coming. I just did a video about knives I never sell, and the Dow was on the list. And then I sold it, and then because I've got another one coming in a trade, so... Um, have I reviewed the Hinder Full Track yet? No, I have not, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to over the next uh, couple of months. I have a new hookup with somebody who I have not announced yet that I'm going to be able to be doing a lot of uh, uh, U.S. knives. 
they're going to loan to me, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, not completely normal prices on Medford's. No, but it's not. It's not too, and they're not, I mean, they're a lot. But for the work that goes into them, it's not that crazy. It's not just like Chris Reeve or something. Have you seen pictures of the Civivi Anthropos? Yes, I have. I will be all over that. That is one that I do definitely want because I love Elijah. But I just wind up not keeping his knives. I don't know why. Um, how about EDC? Smaller EDC than a Sage 5. That's about as small as I go for a primary EDC is 3 inches. Um, Best Tech Engine's really good. That's in that 2.5 inch range. Um, Spider Co. Little Native. I did sell my Little Native and I've thought about getting one back again. Um, yeah, those are the first two that come to my mind. Anything better than the Keen at that price range? Uh, I don't know. Not depends on if you like a titanium frame lock. You know, it's a very specific kind of knife, but not really. Best knife of all time. Ask ask me now and ask me five minutes later, and it's it's I'll change my mind. Um. Do you have any ideas, mod ideas, on how to make the new bag lighters flipper better? Um, what, this one? I think it's fine. I, d I don't have a problem with it. I mean, all I did was adjust the detent a bit. Like I've said before multiple times, I don't know um, what what it was like originally. When I got it, it was stiff, but the guy said he played with it, and I loosened it up a bit, and it's perfect now. What's the problem you have with it? I mean, I wouldn't mind if it had a bit more jimping, but... Other than that, I think it's completely fine. Yo, it's your boy Ray's here. How's it going, man? Good to see ya. Little Native and Best Tech Engine, I think is what I said. Uh, just got your DLC M4 Native 5. Really thought about the Super Freak, but you know, the Super Freak is really nice. It is, uh, it's super freaky. Now. As the name would say. Yeah, yeah. the Ornetta is a gorgeous thing. Um, did you have this yet? Aren't you on? The, you're on the pass around group. Are you in line for this thing? Hopefully they did it right and I'm shipping to you. I love it when I'm shipping to you because it's super cheap. Because every everyday city carry is in New York City. I'm like four hours away. So I like it when I have to ship him stuff because it just goes, it goes there and it doesn't. Mine is killing my finger. I love it, but I can't fiddle with it. Uh, uh, adjust the detent off a little bit. Probably the detent is just a little... Um, a little stiff. Last time I was really disappointed by an, in a knife. That was definitely the uh, Monterey Bay Knives. Um, God, I just the second time I've brought it up tonight, and I can't remember the name of it. Not the EDC, or e EZC. I love that. I love the EZC, the other one. The Min Pin. The Min Pin and was the last time I was very disappointed by a knife. Did not like that at all. No, I didn't sell this to Terra. I still got it. Um... Balls, balls, balls. I know who that is, but I've been looking at who it is. Uh, ever handled the Steel Wheel Mini Gecko? I did. It cut me, like, twice. I, I'm, ang I'm mad at it. It just, it just drops like a guillotine, and the way your hands have to be on it. I, I don't like that knife. It hurt me. Hurt my soul. Um, have you handled a Caribbean yet? No, I haven't. Um, and it, it looks so disgusting that I'd have to handle it from a distance. But if somebody loaned me one, I'd review. I've heard it's a great knife. I'm sure it is, but it's just not. Yeah. Um, home front blade wobble. I don't know. What, I've never had a home front, so I don't know. Um, thoughts on lion steel? I've had some lion steels I, I really liked. I had a um, mostly traditionals. I I got. I've had a lot of the ones that uh. Collector Knives does, like the round head and the shuffler and stuff like that. Um, I don't think I've ever had any of their actual... I'm getting a few. I have a Tur and a Rock coming, so um, somebody's loaning me. So I'm excited about that. Um, that'll be fun. The, the, the Rock is the one with like the hidden pocket clip, and the Tur is just a great-looking knife. So I'm excited about both of those. Um, you, like, you like the... Uh, Deacon, but hate the big blasted blade. Yeah, I'm not excited about that, but it's M390. It's probably fine. But you know what? We actually does a different thing. It's not your normal B-blast. It's kind of like a, 
I don't know how to describe it. Let me clean it off and really show it up close. It's like a polished bead blast, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I do believe my camera is locked up because I'm holding this up here and you guys aren't seeing anything that I'm doing. Son of a monkey! Well, we're gonna wrap this up in a few minutes anyway because it's almost an hour. But yeah, we locked up somewhere along here. But uh, yeah, the Wii does kind of a polished bee blast. So um, it's not really that bad. Uh, yeah, somebody's loaning me a fox tur. They were sending me the rock and they said they had a tur. They're just gonna send it along with it. So that's cool. Um, why does your camera suck so bad? It's not my camera, it's freaking internet stuff. I have the mother of all internet connections, but it's still, I rely on a service, so. Camera's fine, it's just the internet connection. Um, uh, do I use all my knives? I use a lot of them. I, I have too many, I couldn't possibly use all of them unless I just was like walking around flinging them from my hands. Um, where can you get that mat? Amazon? Yeah, I think in one, there, if you go back, there's some video about what I use and I, I do believe I mentioned it, but it's just a Vantage brand. Vantage cutting mat, 8x12. Um, check that out. Yeah, the feed is frozen, but the audio is working. We're going to cut it off in a few minutes, so I'm just going to... We're just going to power through for another five minutes and call it good. Uh, thank you, Sean Choi. Yeah, we do. And we're going to wrap up in a few minutes, but the, uh, the Super Chat is still open if you want to... Uh, kicking a few bucks and apparently pay for me to get a, a better a better internet connection. <laughs> no, I have the best internet connection I can possibly get. I have fiber optic cable. It's super fast, but I don't know what's going on right now. Sometimes it it, hippo, it, it hiccups and when it hiccups in your live feed, it doesn't it doesn't come back again. Uh, your voice consoles us. Your voice consoles us. No, I can't do one more hour because. Uh, Jimmy Slash goes on at 9.30, and I like to just be his lead-in and do my show and then go on with his show and let him do his thing, so it's it's good. He's, he is the uh, he is the Seth Meyers to my uh, Jimmy Fallon, which I hate because I like Seth Meyers a lot better than Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon's a little weasel. Uh, Skaha versus Neutron. Um... Well, I traded my Neutron for the Skaha, but I'm buying my Neutron back and still keeping the Skaha, so I'm not really sure where that leaves me <laughs> in the thing. I love them both. They're awesome. I, I traded my Neutron for a Skaha because I could I could replace the, uh, the Neutron faster than I could get the Skaha. And then that day I got the email. It's in the video. I got the email that I could buy my my. Skaha, but you know what? I was broke anyway, so it worked out fine. Uh, cereals or cereal or cookies for dessert is my question of the evening. Um, cookies for certain, unless there are Lucky Charms in the house, then it would be a coin flip. Best hard use knife. Best hard use knife I ever had, I would say, is still the Cold Steel Recon one. I never worried about damaging anything on that knife. It was the XHP one. You should get your Neutron tomorrow. Congratulations. That's going to be a happy, happy day. Just immediately go just just go like have a piece of like cardboard next to the door and just hack through it right then. Yeah, Jimmy Slash. That's how you spell it. J-I-M-I-S-L-A-S-H. I encourage everyone to go check him out when this is. I think, I think 9.30 he comes on. Something like that. I haven't seen the notification yet, though. Maybe he isn't tonight. I think he was on last night, but he's usually on at 9.30. Um, da -da. Rat 1, also excellent for uh, a good beater knife in the D2, yes. It's kind of getting so the all states are kind of hard to find. I think they're, they're kind of um, phasing those out. Uh, you know, make him get on? I don't know. I don't know if you can make him. He seems like kind of a big dude. I don't think you can make him do anything he doesn't want to do. And he's got a lot of knives. I don't know if I'd want to make him do anything. 
You know, the Battle of Death, Tur versus Neutron. The Tur is kind of old, though. It's not like it's not like it's a new thing. I do think about. I am. I am a man who cares. I, I about his views. I do think about stuff that I think people will watch. So sometimes I don't do videos of stuff that I don't think anyone will watch. Slash Man will squish. Oh, Coastal Voyager and Aus Ten. Yeah, I saw they're doing some Aus Ten stuff now. Yeah, that's cool. We beat it from raccoon fighting. Yeah, he always talks about the raccoons in his attic. I meant to say in his live cast a while ago, he's talking about beating a raccoon to death. I did that one time. I will admit it was one of the worst memories of my life. I'm I'm not a killer. I don't like to kill animals. I did hunt a lot when I was a kid, but um and I killed a lot of animals, but I kinda got out of it and I didn't like doing it anymore. I went home to visit my parents and there was a raccoon that was clearly injured in the snow and uh like stuck in a snowbank and i thought i was gonna take a shovel and whack it once and kill it oh my god it was like a 10 minute ordeal it was not fun raccoons are tough don't fight raccoons they're a lot tougher than you think you oh is pete holmes my role model i'm not quite i know who pete holmes is but i don't know what from this conversation would make you ask that Um, but, uh, best fidget knife. Um, I don't remember what I, I just did a video on that and I don't remember what it was and I don't want to contradict myself. So look at my video. <laughs> I did a video about, you know, six months ago. Um, and I got a lot of flack for that because in that video, I jokingly said that something or other. I said, I wish this knife came in a smaller version, but it doesn't because there is no God. And wow, I got a whole lot of flack about saying there is no God. I didn't mean it that way. I didn't mean it that way. That's just a phrase that people say. You know, I don't own a Ferrari because there is no God. It doesn't mean I have no opinion one way or the other on the subject. So if you want to go look there, you can watch a really good video. Then you can scroll down and watch a lot of very religious people be very, very, very angry at me. Lightning LTF is a good fidgety knife for 40 bucks. You know it is. It is, yeah. It definitely is. Again, I, I can't carry automatics in New York. But you know what? All the knife shops still sell them, but you can't carry them. You can own them. It's perfectly fine, but I'm not going to spend any money on a knife that I can't leave the house with. That's just my personal thing. Sorry you're late, Paul. I'm sorry, too, because I am just about to wrap this up because my camera is frozen. It has been for quite some time. It's just been my voice and some pictures of these knives. I swear I was going to change them out. But, uh, yeah, we're going to wrap this up. We're one hour in. Uh, if you guys stick around on the internet for a little while longer and you are a uh, subscriber to him, go to uh, Jimmy slash J-I-M-A, J-I-M-I-S-L-A-S-H is his channel name, Jimmy slash. I think he goes live in like half an hour. I'm not sure. But, of course, this will be the one time that he doesn't, and I send everybody over there. But go check it out. I'll probably be there. We'll hang out. We'll have some fun. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Thanks so much for coming out. Thanks for all the donations.